the signal comes from the transmitter, like I have here, and it goes to this high-tech antenna that I've made out of some Radio Shack clip leads. The, re the companion receiver, also from SparkFun, is right here. I've got it hooked to, a, to, to another Picax microcontroller board, which simply decodes the data. The data consists of a single letter, A through, uh, a through B in this case, because I have two transmitters. I've encoded that so that it's uh, fairly robust. And then after that comes the latitude and longitude. It sends the latitude, and a few seconds later the longitude, and then it waits about 20 seconds just to make sure that we're not interfering with all those garage door openers and wireless thermometers. Um, the signal is decoded and it's sent out RS-232, just the opposite of what we did the other way. It's sent out RS-232 to this laptop that I've got running uh, Ubuntu Linux. Um, and I've got a Python program here that's decoding the data, and you can see that this is transmitter B and that it's, that's its latitude and longitude. Well, if we head on over to the web browser, what you'll see here is this file that the Python program is outputting um, in KML format, which is an XML application defined for Google Maps, and that's got, that turns the letter B into the name The Boy Who Lived, um, and we've got the coordinates, latitude and longitude. I can just put the URL of this file, uh, this, uh, of this of my web server, into Google Maps, and it pops up and retrieves the data and shows the location of the transmitter right there at the maker. Here from the Maker Fair, come see us.